Hello my friends and welcome back to the You Can Do TV channel. Steel is an essential material in our modern world, and much of it is produced at Nucor Steel Decatur. This facility combines exact chemistry with advanced technology to produce high-quality steel that is lighter, stronger, and more durable than ever before. Recycling and Sorting Scrap The process begins with recycling scrap metal. Nucor sorts various types of scrap, each with distinct properties, to ensure the final steel product meets customer specifications. The sorted scrap is then loaded into 200-ton electric arc furnaces EAFs, using cranes. Melting scrap into molten steel. The EAFs, powered by 105 megawatts, use 65,000 kilowatt hours to melt the scrap into molten steel at temperatures around 3,000 degrees Fahrenheit. This method is more energy efficient compared to traditional blast furnaces. Refining the steel. The molten steel is transferred to the ladle metallurgy furnace, LMF, where its chemistry is precisely adjusted. This stage is akin to adding ingredients to a recipe ensuring the steel has the necessary properties for its intended use, such as removing phosphorus to prevent brittleness in line pipes. Casting and forming slabs. Next, the refined molten steel is poured into molds and cooled to form long slabs. This is the first stage where the steel starts to take on a recognizable product form. The slabs are then reheated to around 2200 degrees Fahrenheit to make them malleable for further processing. Rolling the slabs. The reheated slabs go through rolling mills where they are subjected to tremendous pressure. This process reduces the slab's thickness and increases its length. For example, a 3.5 inch thick, 100 foot long slab can be transformed into a quarter inch thick, 1300 foot long coiled sheet within minutes. Finishing processes. Depending on customer requirements, the steel products may undergo additional treatments. Nucor has invested heavily in its finishing areas, including a state-of-the-art galvanizing line where zinc is applied to steel to enhance corrosion resistance and durability. This process is essential for products like automotive parts and building materials. Packaging and shipping. Finally, the finished steel products are packaged and shipped via rail and truck across North America. The company's products are used in a variety of applications, from automobiles to agricultural equipment, and are shipped to destinations as far-reaching as the New World Trade Center and Yankee Stadium. In this section, we'll take an in-depth look at each stage of transforming steel coils into high-quality pipes, meticulously crafted for industrial applications. Our journey begins in the entry section, where steel coils, the raw material for pipe manufacturing, arrive at the facility. The hold down roll applies consistent pressure on the steel strip to keep it flat and aligned as it unwinds, maintaining the strip's integrity. Coil Peeler The coil peeler initiates the leading edge of the coil, making it easier to feed into the subsequent processing units. Pinch Leveler. The pinch leveler flattens the steel strip, removing any curvature or waves, ensuring the strip is level before it moves to the cropping shear. Crop Shear. At this stage, the crop shear cuts the leading and trailing edges of the steel strip. This ensures a clean start and end for the strip, crucial for maintaining quality. Skewed Conveyor The skewed conveyor aligns the strip precisely for the next step, ensuring it enters the edge miller correctly. Edge Miller The edge miller trims the strip's edges to the desired width, preparing it for welding by creating smooth, uniform edges. Forming Section In the forming section, the steel strip begins to take shape, transitioning from a flat strip to a rounded pipe. 
transition and breakdown stand. This stand initiates the bending of the edges, gradually forming the strip into a pipe shape. The transition stand continues shaping the strip towards a circular form, ensuring smooth transitions. Breakdown Stand Applying additional forming forces, the breakdown stand further molds the strip into a pipe. The edge bending stand focuses on bending the edges to meet perfectly for welding, ensuring a seamless joint. Cage Roll Stand The cage roll stand uses multiple adjustable rolls to ensure the strip takes on a circular shape. These rolls can be adjusted to accommodate different pipe diameters. CRP, Computerized Roll Positioning System. This advanced system precisely adjusts the positions of the rolls, ensuring consistent pipe dimensions with high precision. Fin Pass Stand. The Fin Pass Stand provides the final shaping of the pipe before it moves to the welding section, ensuring the edges are perfectly aligned for welding. Welding section. In the welding section, the pipe is welded using high frequency technology. HF welder and squeeze roll stand. This section utilizes high frequency current to heat the edges of the strip. The squeeze rolls then press these heated edges together, forming a strong forge weld. Inside bead cutter. After welding, the inside bead cutter removes the internal weld bead, ensuring a smooth internal surface for the pipe which is crucial for fluid flow and reducing obstructions. Outside Bead Cutter Simultaneously, the outside bead cutter removes the external weld bead, creating a smooth outer surface that enhances the pipe's appearance and prevents corrosion. Scrap Winder The scrap material from the bead cutting process is collected by the scrap winder, maintaining a clean and organized work area and facilitating the recycling of scrap. Inline ultrasonic testing, UST. This non-destructive testing method uses ultrasonic waves to detect any weld defects, ensuring the weld's integrity and quality. Seam annealer. The seam annealer heats the weld seam to relieve stresses and enhance the welded joint's properties, making it more ductile and tough. Pull-out stand. Finally, the pull-out stand extracts the pipe from the welding section transitioning it smoothly to the cooling section. Cooling section. The welded pipe then moves to the cooling section to stabilize its properties. Air cooling stand. Initially, the pipe passes through the air cooling stand, which uses air to gradually reduce the pipe's temperature, avoiding thermal shocks. Water cooling stand. The pipe then moves to the water cooling stand, where water further cools the pipe, ensuring it reaches ambient temperature quickly. Sizing and Cutoff Section In the Sizing and Cutoff Section, the pipe is fine-tuned to meet precise specifications. The sizing stand adjusts the pipe to the precise outer diameter, ensuring it meets the specified dimensions. The Turk's head ensures the pipe's roundness and straightness, applying additional pressure to correct any deviations. Inline Marking Machine This machine marks the pipe with necessary identification information using ink or laser marking systems for traceability and compliance with standards. Flying Cut-Off Machine The Flying Cut-Off Machine cuts the pipe to the specified length with high-speed precision, synchronized with the line speed. Pull-out roll stand. The pull-out roll stand extracts the cut pipe, moving it efficiently to the run-out conveyor. Run-out conveyor and coil skid. The run-out conveyor and coil skid transport the pipe to the finishing line, handling it carefully to avoid damage.
Finishing line. The finishing line prepares the pipe for final inspection and treatment. Finishing unit. The finishing unit prepares the pipe for subsequent processes, including cleaning and pre-inspection. End facing and chamfering machine. This machine faces and chamfers the pipe ends, ensuring smooth and accurate ends for joining or threading. Basic specifications of the pipe mill. Our pipe mill handles pipes with outer diameters ranging from 8 and 5 8 inches to 24 inches, wall thicknesses from 4.0 millimeters to 24 millimeters, and lengths from 6 meters to 18.3 meters. We adhere to standards like API 5L and 5CT, ASTM, and G's. Kick-in and receiver. The kick-in and receiver manage the pipe flow to the next processing stages, ensuring efficient handling. Kick-out and roller conveyor. The kick-out and roller conveyor move the pipe through the finishing processes without manual intervention. Hydrostatic tester. The hydrostatic tester tests the pipe's strength and leak integrity under pressure, using water to detect any leaks and ensuring the pipe can withstand operating pressures. Our line speed reaches a maximum of 40 meters per minute, with an annual capacity of 300,000 tons. The welding is powered by a 1,200 kilowatts dual high-frequency system, complemented by a 3,000 kilowatts, 1.0 kilohertz annealing system. Offline ultrasonic tester. The offline ultrasonic tester performs detailed inspection for defects, providing a thorough check of the pipe's wall thickness and integrity. Manual ultrasonic testing, UST. Manual UST adds another layer of quality control, with operators performing targeted inspections on critical areas. Varnish coating machine. The varnish coating machine applies a protective layer to the pipe, protecting against corrosion and enhancing durability. End cropping machine. This machine crops the pipe ends to uniform lengths, ensuring consistency in final products. Threading machine. The threading machine adds threads to the pipe ends if required, preparing them for connections in various applications. Power tightening machine. Finally, the power tightening machine secures any threaded connections, ensuring leak-proof and secure joints. 
Electric steelmaking has seen remarkable advancements, particularly with the introduction of the EAF quantum by Primetals Technologies. This new evolution in electric arc furnaces, EAF, showcases a fine-tuned balance of charge materials, process control, cycle times, logistics, and productivity. Sustainable steelmaking is in demand more than ever, driven by challenging market conditions and the need for competitive efficiency. Primetals Technologies has developed the EAF Quantum to meet these demands, offering high capacity, maximum availability, versatile charge material processing, and a wide range of steel grades production without prolonged adaptation times. Advantages of Primetals Technologies Electric Arc Furnaces High Reliability and Innovation Primetals Technologies ensures that their electric arc furnaces, including the EAF Quantum, fulfill contractual agreements with high reliability. The EAF Quantum is at the forefront of innovation, offering efficient and environmentally friendly steelmaking processes. Short startup periods. The user friendliness of the system, combined with the process expertise of Primetals Technology specialists, ensures short startup periods, allowing for quick integration into existing steelmaking operations. High quality and minimized downtime risk. The high level of standardization of the system components guarantees high quality and reduces the risk of downtime, ensuring continuous and dependable productivity. Short amortization time. Thanks to low consumption levels, high availability, and dependable productivity, the investment in EAF Quantum has a short amortization time, making it economically viable for steel producers. The EAF Quantum is designed for high efficiency, based on an optimized preheating and melting concept. This results in minimum conversion costs, maximized output, and compliance with environmental regulations. One of the standout features of the EAF Quantum is its ability to achieve energy consumption of less than 280 kilowatt hours T, thanks to 100% scrap preheating. This is achieved through a trapezoidal shaft design and a redesigned retaining system, which allows for optimal scrap allocation and improved off-gas routing for efficient heat transfer. Key features and benefits. Pure flat bath operation. The EAF Quantum operates with large liquid heels, ensuring pure flat bath operation with minimal flicker, which supports preheating efficiency. Furnace advanced slag-free tapping, fast, system. The fast system, with its siphon design, allows for charging, tapping, and tap hole refilling under power on conditions, further enhancing productivity and reducing cycle times. Environmental Compliance The EAF Quantum is designed to meet stringent environmental standards, making it a sustainable choice for modern steelmaking. Other Advanced EAF Technologies EAF Ultimate The EAF Ultimate represents over 40 years of experience and innovation from Primetals Technologies in the field of electric arc furnaces. It offers maximum furnace performance in terms of both quantity and quality with extremely high energy input rates of up to 1,500 kVA T liquid and innovative RCB technology to boost performance. The EAF Ultimate provides extremely short tap-to-tap -tap times, delivering a significant productivity boost. Located in the industrial heart of Ukraine, among its largest metallurgical plants, is the state-of-the-art Interpipe Steel Facility. Built at a cost of $700 million by the Italian company Danieli and launched in 2012, this modern electric steelmaking mini-mill specializes in producing steel billets. These billets serve as crucial raw material for other Interpipe plants, where they are transformed into seamless pipes and railway wheels.
The steelmaking process at Interpipe Steel begins with the delivery of scrap metal, its primary raw material. Operating at full capacity on scrap metal, their electric arc furnace utilizes a charging bucket to load the furnace with the raw materials. Once loaded, electrodes are engaged, initiating the melting process. Post-melting, a layer of metal and slag forms in the furnace, with the slag draining below for removal, facilitated by robust Volvo machines capable of withstanding extreme temperatures up to 1400 degrees Celsius. Volvo machines are not just reliable but also fuel-efficient, demonstrating significant savings compared to other equipment. Their operation is critical as interruptions can lead to financial losses. The loaders, operated by skilled professionals like Alexander, ensure continuous operation without compromising safety or efficiency. Alexander, with six years of experience, navigates the challenging task of loading molten metal into the furnace with ease, relying on Volvo's advanced technology for reliability. The coil cut to length line is a sophisticated machine used primarily in metal processing industries to precisely cut coils of metal into desired lengths. Here's how each component of the machine works. Decoiler or uncoiler. This is the initial stage where the coil, which can weigh up to 15 tons, is mounted. The decoiler rotates to unwind the coil, feeding the strip of metal into the processing line. It ensures a steady supply of material for further operations. Servo feeder. Once the metal strip is fed into the line, the servo feeder takes over. It is equipped with precision servo motors that control the feeding of the metal strip at a consistent rate. This ensures that the material moves through the line smoothly and accurately for the cutting process. Straightener. Metal coils often come with slight bends or curvature due to the winding process. The straightener's role is crucial as it flattens and straightens the metal strip before it reaches the cutting stage. This ensures uniformity and improves the accuracy of the cutting process. Guillotine shear. At the final stage of the process, the metal strip reaches the guillotine shear. This component is responsible for cutting the strip to the required length. It operates by bringing down a sharp blade, similar to a guillotine, onto the moving metal strip, cleanly slicing it to the specified dimensions. The shear is controlled by advanced automation systems that ensure precise cuts according to programmed parameters. The CNC brake press is a cornerstone machine in modern metalworking, known for its precision and efficiency in bending and shaping sheet metal across diverse industries. At its heart, this machine operates with a sophisticated system comprising several integral components. It begins with programming. Operators input bending parameters into the CNC system, specifying dimensions, angles, and material details. Once programmed, a flat metal sheet is carefully loaded onto the machine's bed and aligned against the back gauge for precise positioning. Tool setup is crucial next. The appropriate upper and lower dies are selected and installed based on the desired bend angle and shape of the part being fabricated. The CNC brake press then initiates the bending process. Its upper bead, equipped with the selected upper die, moves vertically under hydraulic or electric force.
This controlled movement presses the sheet metal against the lower die on the bed, accurately folding it to the programmed angle. Upon completion of the bending sequence, the machine releases the formed part, which is then ready for further processing or assembly. This automated operation not only enhances efficiency by reducing manual labor but also ensures consistent, high-quality results with every production cycle. Key features of the CNC brake press include its exceptional accuracy, enabled by CNC controls that guarantee repeatability in bending operations. The machine's flexibility is another advantage, as it can accommodate a wide range of bending tasks, from simple bends to intricate forms, by simply changing out dies and adjusting settings as needed. This adaptability makes it indispensable across industries such as automotive, aerospace, electronics, and construction. On the back of the leg. Square hollow sections SHS, are a prevalent type of structural steel tube known for their square cross-sectional shape and hollow interior. These sections are widely utilized across construction, infrastructure projects, and manufacturing due to their exceptional structural efficiency, aesthetic appeal, and ease of fabrication. SHS offer significant structural efficiency with high strength to weight ratios making them ideal for load-bearing applications in various construction projects. Their uniform shape allows for efficient distribution of stresses, which enhances overall structural integrity. This characteristic is particularly valuable in building frames, support structures, and other critical load-bearing applications. In addition to their structural benefits, SHS are highly versatile in their applications. They are commonly used not only in essential structural components like beams and columns but also in architectural elements such as facades and railing systems. The clean, modern appearance of SHS makes them a preferred choice in urban design and furniture manufacturing, where aesthetics are crucial. Manufacturing processes for SHS typically involve cold forming from steel sheets or coils. This method ensures precise dimensional accuracy and smooth surfaces, facilitating easier welding and assembly during construction. SHS can also be coated or galvanized to enhance their durability and resistance to corrosion, making them suitable for outdoor and industrial applications where environmental exposure is a concern. The design flexibility of SHS allows engineers and architects to incorporate them seamlessly into complex frameworks. They can be combined with other structural elements to create innovative and efficient designs while maintaining aesthetic coherence. This versatility extends their usability across a wide range of projects, from residential buildings to large-scale industrial complexes. Furthermore, SHS contribute to sustainable construction practices due to the recyclability of steel. By using SHS in building projects, Professionals can achieve green building certifications and minimize environmental impact throughout the life cycle of the structure. As technologies and design standards advance, SHS continue to evolve and play a vital role in shaping modern architecture and infrastructure worldwide.